Hey guys, we're here in Kona, Hawaii. We're fishing with Brian Tooney on the Mealy. Um, we get so many people asking us, how do you leader or wire a fish? What's the correct uh, methods? And we were no better company here than Brian. Brian's obviously a captain now, but back in his day, he was one of the best in the business at wiring big fish. So, Brian, can you give us a bit of a quick rundown on how uh, the three different methods? We've got the, um, the pinching, obviously, uh, a normal wrap, and then probably back your favourites, the back yep. end wrap. <laughs> yep. So, pretty much um, a lot of people do, when they first grab the leader, they'll do a pinch, which is like this, and pull it to them which is a pretty good way. And then after that, you can either come up from behind it like that and break it like that, and that's a backhand wrap. And another way is just a normal wrap where you come up in between and wrap, and wrap it around. Around, and around like that. With a backhand wrap, you come up and you break it like that to get your first wrap, but you always have to do a normal wrap after that, just like that. And that gets you your double wrap after that, doesn't it? Yep. It and, and the backhand wrap is a a great one. It's a very simple one. It's probably the simplest to do. It is. But, but you can do it under a lot of pressure. Which I, when you're fishing for tuna or when it's the only way to go. Fish, you can actually get a really good twist on. Yep. Yeah, depending on the pressures and everything. I mean, you got different pressures and angles. But for for now, if it's straight up and down, it's actually a lot easier. Like I said, you just come up from underneath it. It's a lot of strain. You just get a hold of it like that, and there's no pressure on this side, so you can just turn your hand over and fold it back around your thumb and you've got a wrap. Perfect, perfect. And the forward hand wrap? So with a normal wrap, you just come up from underneath it with your thumb and index finger in between it. And what I like to do is have it kind of close to my body so you can extend your elbow and it'll help get your wrap. You just come out like that. And then of course your second wrap is always the same. And when you're pulling on a fish, you always want to keep it down close to your body as much as you can anyway in case you do have to let go. Once you're stretched out like this, letting go is a lot harder and it'll, sometimes it'll come off your glove funny and mess your fingers up and it's a lot harder to get another wrap. So it just gives you a little bit of cushion there. Yeah, the yeah, arm's more like a, a yeah. shark Yeah, yeah, so. usually your arm for a shark absorber yeah. basically. And then the most basic way is the, the pinching. And if you, I guess if you're using really light leaders, it's sort of something that you can do and like, yeah, especially with wind-ons, you can just it's, grab it like that and just pinch it. Yep. Wind-ons, that works really good. Yep. yep. Well, there you go. Three different ways of uh, leadering a fish and no better man to learn it from <laughs> than Brian Tooney. Thank you very much. Thank you. Join us on more adventures to some amazing fishing destinations by following us on Facebook or subscribe to The Journey at journeyofafisherman.com.